When people see I have a tracheostomy tube, many believe my life is extremely challenging and complex. However, this is not true. A tracheostomy tube is simply an assistive device. Just as some people use canes to help them walk, some people use tracheostomy tubes to help them breathe. There are precautions which must be taken and emergencies can arise. But for the most part, living my life with a tracheostomy tube is not very complicated. One of the biggest challenges with having a tracheostomy tube is trying not to get water into the tracheostomy tube. I wear a device called a heat and moisture exchanger, abbreviated as HME, to prevent water from entering my airway. The HME has a sponge in it which will absorb water if any enters my tracheostomy tube. However, the device has a limited capacity. If too much water is absorbed, the sponge will become saturated and will leak water into the airway. So, even with using an HME, I need to be mindful to keep the shower head away from my tracheostomy tube. To prevent water from entering the tracheostomy tube, there are a few other activities I avoid, such as swimming and water sports. I also need to stay away from air pollution and particles in the air. For most people, the nose and mouth filter the air which prevents particles from reaching the lungs. However, substances such as smoke, dust, and pollen have direct access to my lungs via my tracheostomy tube. There are times in which my tracheostomy tube becomes clogged with mucus and requires emergency intervention. For this reason, I always travel with an obturator. This device fits inside my tracheostomy tube and is used to insert the tracheostomy tube into the airway. If my tracheostomy tube becomes clogged with mucus, I remove the tracheostomy tube and push the obturator into the tracheostomy tube. This will force out any mucus which may be stuck inside the tracheostomy tube. I then reinsert the tracheostomy tube and remove the obturator. The biggest challenge with having a tracheostomy tube is the assumption I cannot speak and have mental challenges. This misconception is more common among the medical community than the general public. When I go to the hospital or to a doctor's appointment, my ability to speak and my intellect are often challenged. Nurses will not talk to me. Doctors assume I do not possess the ability to make decisions about my care. Frequently, this myth is quickly dispelled. However, some medical professionals will not give up their misconceptions. They will insist on consulting with my mom. My mom, in all her glory, will tell the person, I do not know. My daughter is the patient. Talk to her. In extreme cases, this does not work. I then tell my mom what to say and she says it back to the medical provider. It can be a frustrating experience. A few years ago, I was exiting the grocery store. There was an elderly man entering the building using another set of doors. I caught a glimpse of the man. He had a tracheostomy tube. I was filled with much joy and delight. The man continued into the store before I was able to get his attention. I realized at that moment I'd never met anyone with a tracheostomy tube. I discovered how isolated I felt. Having a tracheostomy tube is not a big deal, but to see someone else who is like me, that is a very special experience. Perhaps one day I will again meet someone in person with a tracheostomy tube, and maybe next time I will have the opportunity to say hello. To all those who use a tracheostomy tube, we celebrate you. Let us rejoice as we commemorate Global Tracheostomy Tube Awareness Week. May this week and every week be a reminder of what a joy and blessing tracheostomy tubes are. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Happy Global Tracheostomy Tube Awareness Week. Bye-bye.